biggest risk that I think is involved in this mission is human failure. As soon as it is developed and tested in a chamber, it will function. But the human person, you never know if it will deliver. Because we think about a lot of things, you know. But there's always something out there that you would never believe this is going to happen. And that might kill you. If I thought this was a uh, suicide stunt, I and all the real experts that are a part of this team would never have had anything to do with this. I mean, you've got the world's expert like Joe Kittinger, you've got test pilots, you've got a huge yeah, array yeah. of aerospace experts. We're not doing this as a stunt, we're doing this as a demonstration that an upper atmospheric bailout and free fall and re-entry are possible. So what we're doing out here at the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds is to take Felix up on a bungee platform where he's going to step off and get the sensation of what that exit is going to be like. So you wouldn't normally think of bungee jump in terms of prepping for a high altitude jump, but it gives him the sensation of what it's like to step off that platform and try and control that forward rotation. To step into the unknown is always difficult. We still have have an unknown, which means what happens to the human body when you break the speed of sound. So at least you want to know you, you're able to handle your exit. Today in the morning, it was actually the first time that we were lifting the capsule outside of a building. And the most important thing to me was to see how much that capsule is moving back when I get off. Because if you over-rotate on the exit, you know, you take this, over, this rotation all the way down and you can't use the air to stop this because there is no air. We had no idea what's going to happen to the capsule as he slides the seat forward, as he climbs out, and as he hops off. So we were really curious about what was going to happen to angles and stuff, and what we found this morning was that the capsule doesn't move as much as we thought it would. All that weight hanging from the one spot, it, it's pretty stationary. The last time we made these jumps, um, we were out of a different type of aircraft with a smaller side door. What we're doing today is we're out of a tailgate aircraft that will be able to bring the pressure up to full pressure, 3 PSI. We have the new chest pad. So what we've done now is we've made some modifications. He seems happy with it. Um, we're going to test it out on this first jump and we'll see how it goes. What was really interesting, what was fascinating was to see his flipping over. It was actually pretty easy. It was very natural for him. So again, it shows us that he's able to control himself, uh, go into a delta, actually track upside down if need be. I'm super happy with today because everything just turned out perfect. You need a lot of practice and every time when you practice something, you find out about stuff. Yeah? Then you change it, you go back to your facility, you change it, next time you come back, you test it again, if it's perfect, you move on.